Hi, Nicole here from Brenda Bella Podiatry and I'm going to talk to you today about why you might be getting heel pain and how do you fix your heel pain. So first of all, I'd just like to run through a few reasons uh, that you may be getting your heel pain. So I'll go through a few of the different diagnoses and if you're seeing this live, make sure you jump on and say hi to me and ask any questions that you've got below. So jump on and, and say hi at any stage. That would be great so I know that you're there. So first of all, what are the different different diagnoses for heel pain? So people often come in and they, they say, my doctor's told me I've got plantar fasciitis. Now, there are a range of things that it could be. So plantar fasciitis is only one of the diagnoses and it's really important that you have it diagnosed correctly because the treatment is actually varied depending on what your diagnosis is. So you may have a problem with your plantar fascia, so you may have some tiny little tears in there. You may have a problem where it attaches in the bone in the heel um, or along the plantar fascia. There's also um, bone spurs that can form. There's uh, bone spurs that fracture that could be your problem. Uh, you can also have a fat pad inflammation, so your fat pad around the back of your heel might be inflamed. You could have an impingement of a nerve. You may have a, a problem with a muscle, uh, the abductor hallucis muscle, which runs along the arch of the foot up through here, and often it gets sore a little bit higher up uh, where the muscle belly is. It might be another muscle under here, which is a quadratus plantae. So as you can see, there is not one diagnosis for heel pain, therefore there is not one treatment option. So what I'm gonna run through now are a couple of the treatment options that you can actually start to do yourself at home because the quicker you get onto this, the quicker you can get rid of it. As soon as something has been there for longer than three months, we call it chronic and chronic problems are a lot harder to treat. So first of all, if you notice a niggle coming on in your foot, whether it's on the bottom of the heel, whether it's a little bit further forward, or whether it's up in the arch, or whether it's along the arch of the foot, um, you can first of all start by stretching out your calf muscles. That's really important. Often people have really tight calf muscles up the back here, and you've got your Achilles tendon that comes into your heel. So if you can stretch that out by leaning against the wall, um, and I might actually do another live on stretches for um, heel pain so that you can actually see what's going on. So stretch out your calf muscles. You can also hang your foot off the back of a step. The other thing that some people like to do is get a TheraBand or a scarf and when you're laying in bed, actually in, before you get out of bed in the morning, pull your foot back towards you. So, and hold, that, hold the stretches for a good 30 seconds. Do them on your left and your right side because you don't want to start developing symptoms on your other foot as well. The other great thing we always get people to do is get some Voltara and Emil gel from the chemist. Just please check with your pharmacist that you are allowed to use it because it is a drug and um, the anti-inflammatory uh, drug does get into your bloodstream. Anything on your skin gets into your bloodstream. It takes about seven minutes, so it's not long. So Voltara and Amyl Gel on the heel, on the arch, get yourself some good old cling wrap, glad wrap, wrap it around your foot and then go to bed. So that stays on there at night time. The other thing you can buy online is called a Chewless Heel Cup. It's a gel heel cup that goes in your shoe and it helps absorb the shock in your heel when you're walking. Uh, footwear is really important to make sure that you've got good supportive footwear on that's got hard, uh, not hard, uh, some people have these leather, beautiful leather Italian made shoes that look really lovely, but they've just got these like leather soles and they really will flare up your heel pain, uh, particularly if your heel pain is quite isolated to underneath your heel. So footwear, uh, joggers, obviously the best. They've got the most support and the most cushioning. A lot of people find actually that a pair of Crocs uh, around the house as a house shoe is quite nice because it's spongy, it's got support, um, and better than walking around barefoot on your hard concrete or tiles at home. The other thing that we do, which I will do another live on as well to show you, is how to strap your foot yourself. It's called a low die strapping, and what it does is it starts on... You start on the outside, so this is your outside of your ankle. It starts 
um, it starts on the outside and the, and the strapping comes all the way up and it holds up your midfoot and your rear foot. Um, there's another strapping you can do to hold your fat pad in if you've got fat pad inflammation. So there's strapping you can do. There's an FS6 sock which um, you can get from your podiatrist and what this does is it acts like a slight compression but it also it's like a strapping and it holds up your foot so if you've got an allergy to strapping tape this is a really good one to hold up the arch in your foot the other things that we do within the clinic um, all of those things i told you you can actually do yourself at home and you can start doing them as of today uh, if if you're finding that you're not getting better or that you've had your pain for longer than three months, then please make sure you go and see your podiatrist. And the things we will talk to you about will be orthotics to go in your shoes. So these will be made for you so that they're specific to your foot type. You can get ones from chemists or athletes foot or different shoe shops, which are uh, a gel like, but if you need biomechanical control, they're not gonna be good enough for you. Uh, the other thing that we have here is Shockwave. So you can see this big machine here. Um, Shockwave works by creating a local inflammatory response to the area to get the ball rolling to start the body to help to heal itself. So it gets the metabolism kicked in um, so your body can actually start healing itself. And um, we usually recommend about five treatments weekly apart. Some people will need longer for that. But um, make sure you, if you're getting Shockwave, that you get the best Shockwave on the market, which is the Swiss dollar class, which is, is this one. It's the most powerful um, and it will get the job done quicker and more effectively. So it's called the Swiss dollar class and it's this, this big machine here. Um, finally, if all of these things don't work, you're looking at a cortisone injection possibly into your heel or possible surgery, which is worst case scenario, it's not common, it's not a common kind of surgical procedure and usually if you're doing all of these other things and you're doing all of these things at once and you're hitting it hard, you can get rid of your heel pain quicker. So I hope that that's been helpful to you. Please make sure that if you've got any friends or family, I'm sure you know someone with heel pain, make sure you tag them in this um, or share it with them because this will really help. You can doctor Google all you like and you'll find a million different treatments out there. But um, honestly, go and see a professional podiatrist. We do feet all day, every day. This is what we do. Study for four years to learn about feet. So um, I hope that's been helpful and um, please check in below if you would like to ask any specific questions. All right. Thanks. Bye.